All right, so on the last episode, we really went crazy with the with the fancy designs, and a lot of the cars were pretty expensive. So this episode, we're gonna show you how to get that same level of flash, or nearly the same level at least, a fur look way cheaper. So this is gonna be an ultra budget episode. Exactly, we're, we're, we're aiming for under five keys here. Yeah, under so, five. Uh, hopefully some of you guys looking for budget setups, you can find something you like. Exactly. Okay, so uh, for the first one, we got a very simple purple werewolf setup. Um, yeah. Werewolf is, in my opinion, one of the best looking cars out there. I'm not gonna so lie. Nice. I'm pretty sad that I can't use that hitbox, but <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a lovely car. Same. It really looks really good. The anti-eclipse decal, of course, looks so nice on this. It comes with that car. Nothing to purchase. It's all cheap stuff. The central wheels, super cheap. You might have just got it from a crate or you can trade it for under a key. So they, the regular wheels are purple. Like you get that look just from, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not painted. Exactly. So exactly. You, can, uh, you can have a purple design without going for some expensive painted wheel. So these wheels just released the, the Sarp wheels. <laughs> The throwback wheels, and yeah. they got some really cool like blue and uh, and yellow colors in those wheels. Uh, so I'm sure a lot of you have it's, these because they were super cheap. I mean, they were just for balloons. You could get them. They're a beautiful, like complete mess of colors. But I, I kind of went like overboard here and and went in with the details and everything. So so you got all the color nuances covered, and then you got like carbon fiber on the accent to like match the center of the wheel yes. the pattern in there. You get zebra to like um, get even more blue nuances in there. The so, yellow dots uh, on the like dune racer perfect... on the dune racer decal yeah. matches the wheels perfectly. Exactly, it's yeah. lovely. It's a nice design. So here's another great example of using the items that came with an event. In other words, like the balloons. I think this was, what event was this? This is the beach, the summer event. So that turtle tribe yeah, decal, tribe. right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Gets a really nice tribe And the whole point look. of this one is is like matching the, the patterns up, right? Um, exactly. So the gray Santa Fe wheels, that look bright, actually, like bright and white, to be honest. Yeah, it looks um, like a premium like wheel. The, the, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a, it always reminds me of like a tattoo for some reason. I don't know. Yes. It's like a, a in old school like tribal sort of thing it's pretty badass it's a great looking car and of course like all the cars in this episode it's incredibly cheap so for this one we have well, in my opinion, is the perfect race car you can make in Rocket League, mm. and there's there's not much else to it, to be honest. Yeah, Lime SLKs, those wheels are some of my favorite. Criminally underpriced, so take advantage of those. You can actually use that that wheel on uh, a, a decent amount of designs, with the bright colors. Really cool. Oh yeah, for sure. And and like the perfect. The the thing is, we have Ceno Splash, which is like the cheapest lime boost out there that works perfectly with this. So uh, you can really go nuts with it. This one is probably one of my favorites and, and shout out to uh, our, uh, our fellow mate Rocket Sledge who wanted to see some Venom designs. Yeah, 
This is a really unique looking car. I, I don't feel like we see enough like maroon designs. Or I guess you'd call it maroon. That like brownish red. It's a, it's a cool I have no idea, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice color, especially with the, I, I love the decal. I love that like skeleton, uh, the x-ray decal that come, that you can put on the Venom. It's it's pretty sick. Yeah, it looks really cool with the pat with the pattern on, on the tread as well. And um, yeah. and the funny thing about this this accent color, um, in my videos with uh, with John, we often call it rose gold, and it's it's become like sort of a meme because <laughs> it goes perfectly with regular turbine wheels as well. So I'm nice. gonna show a variation of that as well. So um, yeah, and and the accent color can also work with uh, if you have the DC DLC. Uh, it comes with a boost called Speed Force, and Speed Force matches that accent color perfectly for whatever reason. So amazing! You can really uh, do a lot of different things with this. Yeah, quite a few options with those. An another one with some basic wheels. Um, a lot of items you guys probably have. You can throw this design together and be pretty happy with it. All right, I'm making this one. This is one I'm definitely putting together. Every episode, there's like one or two that really stand out to me, that speak to me on a spiritual <laughs> level, and this is one of them. So I love like a yellow and dark blue. I just love that color scheme. It's so like muted and I don't know. I, lo I like dark, plain colors in this. Uh, yeah, this I just I just really wanted to show off like the Reaper wheels in, in general. Yeah. Uh, like way too, too underrated and you may have seen uh, Violent Panda using the black ones recently, and the black ones aren't even too expensive, to be honest. Um, but I just wanted to show off how cool the, the like regular version of them can look and uh, give you guys the accent color for it as well. So nice. So, this one... I actually made back in the day for John and for whatever reason it just became like a like a it, it, the community loved this one because I kind of trolled John by, by like showing Balakara wheels <laughs> which hardly anyone has ever used um, so yeah the whole point of this is is to show off that you can take a an underrated wheel that people seem to hate if that makes sense and still make it look good yeah yeah that's I mean that's one of the greatest great things about really good design it takes something that people hadn't thought of as like a naturally flashy wheel and showing that you can you know you can be creative and and make something amazing out of it every episode we have to have uh you know a little bit of a little bit of weirdness a little bit of wackiness and uh, you gotta love this fluff. watermelon madness design. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's 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 great. I don't I don't often use and, and I and I get a lot of flack for uh, not using a lot of toppers. So uh, here you go, the perfect watermelon car. There you go. Take a bite out of that. Summer's <laughs> summer's ending soon, so you better chomp your watermelon while you got it. Get on this car. <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little look at what you can do with really with a small budget in Rocket League. It's pretty incredible uh, the kind of creativity and flash you can get 
out of this game. You don't always have to spend a ton of money. In fact, you really shouldn't feel like you have to, ever. Uh, you can use the items you have and have an amazing looking car when you're playing Rockstar.